everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and we can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. We are almost done with this entire series. I'm sad to see you guys go, but today we are going to insert that flash that we've been making this whole time into Dreamweaver. Now I know a lot of you are saying, Chris, I already know how to insert SWFs into Dreamweaver. I know how to do this. I don't need to watch this tutorial. Trust me, you want to watch this tutorial. Don't skip this one. I'm going to give you guys a lot of tips so you need to watch this because there are going to be things that you learn in this. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If I'm wrong, comment me and dislike this video, but I'm sure you are going to learn some things. So let's go into Home Flash and see where we left off and go File, Publish Preview, and let's look at it in Flash as we do with every video. And we will see we have our hover buttons working perfectly so we can go to Next Images, we can pause an image, and when we click for more information, we will see the site that we made it. So I did a URL for every single one of my click here for more information. I know in the last tutorial I didn't do that with you guys because I just wanted to show you how to do it. I don't need to walk through putting a URL in every single one of these. But again, if you just click this, in your links, and your options, you have your URL there. So now we are going to import this into Dreamweaver. There are a couple things we need to do in Flash before we do that. The first thing we're going to do is change this to a best quality. So go File, Publish Settings, and come down to HTML Wrapper. And in your quality, you're going to see that it's at a default of high. Change it to best and click OK. We already downgraded the quality of our images a little bit, so let's make it the best of SWF that we can have. Trust me, it'll load just fine. Your, your users will have no problem. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to come to our properties panel over here, and we're going to see that we have player, flash player 10.2. I want to warn people away from 10.2 because even though it is the newest version out right now, a lot of people do not have it. I know this from experience. It's not a very good idea to put 10.2 into your websites because a lot of times you're going to make them have a little box that'll say, click here to upgrade your Flash Player or something like that. A good one to put on your websites is Flash Player 9. Trust me, a lot of people have this. It's practically on every computer up there, out there. A lot of people are updated to Flash Player 9, so you'll have a lot more success and a lot less failure. Now, what we need to do is we need to save this Flash file. So let's go File, Save, since we already saved it as Home underscore Flash in our default images folder. And now we want to publish it, so go File, Publish. So now it just saved it as an SWF file. You do not import FW, FLA files into Dreamweaver, only SWF files. It didn't show you it did anything, but trust me, it did. So now let's go into Dreamweaver. And some of you still might be saying, Chris, I haven't learned anything yet, but just trust me, stick with me, and you will. Trust me. So what we are going to do now is make sure you come to wherever, whatever your site name is and click that and make sure you have a default images folder. You have to have a default images folder if you've been following me this far. So let's create a new HTML and let's save this HTML in our um, site. So let's go File, Save As, and let's just call it index.html. If you already have an index, then just call it something else. So now that you have your index.html file, we are going to insert this SWF file. So I'm in designer view, I'm in design view, and if you scroll down here, you're going to come to media SWF, click this, go to your default images folder where you have that SWF saved, and click that. Now, as you can see, we have an FLA file and an HTML file that we can't even insert into this. So we're going to take care of that later, trust me. So we have the SWF file here, so click Choose. And the title, we are just going to call this, let's just call it Home Flash, and click OK. So here is our Home Flash. Now, there is going to be a problem, probably, but um, let's just preview this real fast. So I'm going to preview it in my Google Chrome. This is my default browser. You can just click F12 to do this and save all your changes. And you want to save your SWF and your JavaScript. So click OK. And now it's going to pop up. It's going to work perfectly fine. It's going to go to next, 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 pause, previous, pause. But watch what happens when we do click here for more information. This pops up. This is a problem. Now, this 
l let me explain what exactly is happening. They're saying Adobe is giving you a little warning. If you don't have this, then you can just skip this part of the video. But if you do have this, I'm just going to explain it really quickly. Adobe is giving us a warning, and it's saying that we have this file in our local site folder, and you are trying to access something on the World Wide Web. And it is telling you that that is not a very good idea. Now, you can, you can absolutely ignore this warning and then upload your website and this warning won't be there anymore because your SWF will be on the World Wide Web and we will, be, we will be accessing something that will be on the World Wide Web. So there will be no problem. But when you try to go from your local site folder to the web, Flash says there's a problem. So if you wanted to test this out, you would, you would be shit out of luck. I'm sorry. But... There is a way that you can test this out. You can go settings, and then in your settings, come to advanced. You probably started in storage, so come to advanced. I haven't done this in a while, but I'm sure it's probably the same. Go to trusted location settings. Yeah, this is where we want to go, and click the plus, and then you're going to see your home underscore flash player. Click that, click open, and now that you've done that, you can just close everything. We're all done. So close that browser, and let's go preview this in Google Chrome. And now let's pause this on the first frame, and let's click from here for more information, and you will see now we go to my home page. Now, this, do, this will not happen when users go to your site because you will be on the World Wide Web and everything will be working. But I just showed you how to do that so that when you are making your site and you're doing all the changes, you will be able to make changes to your site. You will be able to do the URLs and everything. So that was a little tip for you guys. Now, the last little tip that I'm going to give you is let's go to wherever our site is defined. So I'm going to show you my icons. And this is where I have my site defined. So if you have your site defined and maybe a USB or something like that, then you, you will uh, go wherever that folder is. So I have it first site right here. We are going to create a new folder wherever your folder is. So let's click here, new, new folder, and let's call it first underscore site or whatever your site name is. And let's do underscore and call it extras and click enter. Now I know you have no, you don't really understand why I'm doing this right now, but just follow along with me. Double click first site, and let's make this a little bigger. Let's, fi let's find wherever our, oh, I lost it there for a second. But this is a really big helpful tip that I learned. Um, there, there are a couple things in here that we don't really need. As you can see, we have a PSD file in here that we don't really want to put up to the internet. Everything in here, when you put your site onto the internet, is going to go on the internet. But quite frankly, the only thing we want to go to the internet is this home flash player. So all this extra stuff is going to eat up space in your server, and you don't want it to. So a tip I'm going to give you is highlight everything in here besides the home flashes. Since all of this stuff is in your home flash, you don't really need it. So highlight the cheetah, highlight leopard, lion, highlight the next, pause and previous buttons, and highlight the template, and highlight the tiger. Highlight all that stuff. All you really need is this, is this SWF file. It's good to keep the flash files there because then they will all save in the same place. Th that one is a little tricky. So you want to keep that because when we go file publish, it'll, it'll publish it to wherever your flash file is. That's why you want to keep those. But right click and, oh, we can't cut here. Sorry. Um, do command and control X. Oh, that doesn't work either. So um, we'll just do a simple drag and drop. So let me... Let me get rid of flash here. Let me get rid of this. So let's just do a simple drag and drop. So drag those files from your um, default images folder into first site extra and get rid of them. Now that is how you're going to be able to free up a lot of server space. So the only thing you need to remember is if you make a change to like your Photoshop document, you just have to remember that you don't want to save it here, you just save it in your first site. So this is a really good tip for uh, freeing up space for your server. So now we have uh, put that in here. So then in the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to make changes to it. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned a couple things today. And I hope you're happy that you are finally embedding cool flash files into your web pages. So uh, thank you for watching. Chris Carrington with GMUstudent.com and stay tuned.